and in which way acting is difficult in this kind of film? Um, well, a lot of times it has nothing to do with acting because it requires your total concentration and your total commitment, but you're given lines sometimes two minutes before the scene goes on. Impossible dialogue to say. You can type it, like Harrison says, you can type it fine, there's no way to say it. Certain things that I can't even remember. You'll never get this bucket of bolts past that blockade. Well, it's very early in the morning, it's like saying, Betty bought a bit of butter, you know, that, those kind of things. Your mouth refuses to get around those words and make it sound like a sentence that you just off the top of your head and not sound false or, you know, that doesn't ring true or anything like that. So we're, we're saddled with a lot of that dialogue. And a lot of times I don't know what the dialogue means. You're given certain dialogue just to accommodate a move across the set. And so you can't, you can't justify it. You can't sort of say, wait, wait, stop everything. Stop all the explosives and the special effects. Excuse me. Now, when I'm saying this thing about all the troops on Sector 12 to the South Slope, what is Sector 12? Actually, what is Sector 12? I don't know what Sector 12 is. I have to admit it. I just had to say it, and they said they were going to loop something over it. It's like, I guess, doing an Italian film, you know, when they say they have people. We, do that, we don't do that a lot on this, but when there's a lot of action, you know that you probably will have to loop the dialogue anyway because there's so much noise. So they just give you things to say, and then they will put other words over it later.